Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to a Delaware Resource Group Super Athlete of the Week, Reggie Wilson, junior from Beaumont, Texas, leads the stars in four statistical categories right now. And first of all, let's just talk about your week last week. You had a week where you hit 594, 19 hits, nine doubles, a home run, nine RBIs, and a slugging percentage over 1,000. Yes, what went into that? I don't know. I mean, it just happened. I mean, I just take every at bat as, as it is, and I mean, I just go up there looking to get a hit and get on base. And lucky enough, I got 19. So, I mean, I'm just trying to do something big for my team and get on base. You sat out last year while you recovered from an injury. Talk about uh, what happened last year. Uh, I mean, last year, I mean, it was a big freak accident. I, right after spring break, I somehow got a blood clot and um, I missed the rest of the season. But you can try to say things are a blessing. I mean, I ended up here in Oklahoma City, somewhere I never even thought of. Um, Ended up in the hands of Keith Lytle and Denny Crayball, and I mean, it's helped me out a lot. How many tools do you think you have on the diamond? Obviously, you, you're leading the team in four statistical <laughs> categories right now. Talk about your game. Uh, I mean, a lot of people say I'm a 5-2 player. I mean, I try to take everything as it is. I, I will say I'm a, I am a 5-2 player. Um, the main thing I try to do is run well. I mean, I'm a small guy, so I have to have one big tool, and I think that's running. Talk about what it's been like working with uh, Keith Lytle. Oh, man. Um, I love Keith. Uh, he's one emotional guy, and so am I. I mean, I feed off emotions just like him. And uh, me and him, we butt heads, and that's what two, two brains like that will do. Um, I, I love him. He takes every day as it is and looks to get better every day. What are the team's expectations this year? Uh, we want nothing else to be number one, uh, to go to Lewiston and win it all. Uh, I understand that you enjoy fishing when you're not uh, playing baseball. <laughs> not, not much time for that here recently, but uh, tell us about uh, maybe one of your most recent experiences fishing. I haven't fished in a while. I would say last time was maybe when I was 17, about in high school. Me and, in fact, me and my dad talked about it a few days ago when there was parents weekend here. Uh, he said that he had a conversation with some guy about fishing, but we were talking about going uh, at least that Sunday, but we didn't have time to go. I understand you also are uh, participating in some boys and girls club activities. Talk yes. about what you're doing there. Uh, we go to the boys and girls club with my English class and me and a lot of other baseball players on the team just to read to the kids and uh, like be there and have fun with them. Uh, let them know how to read and how to write letters to people, you know, and how to express themselves. And what's your major here at OCU? Uh, it's nursing right now. All right. So talk about uh, what your career might hold uh, following baseball. Uh, hopefully I do get drafted and go on to play MLB, play in the MLB. But um, if that doesn't happen, hopefully I can fall back and become a nurse and you know, help people out. That's all just something I want to do. Talk about the path that brought you here to OCU. Oh, um, I mean, it was rough. And I mean, it, it still took patience about baseball. I mean, uh, my freshman year, I uh, played with another guy on the team named Skylar Janice um, at San Jacinto in Houston. Uh, we went to a national championship, and uh, I had a lot of fun there, but, I mean, my time was short, and I transferred to Howard Junior College, which is in Big Spring, Texas. Um, I became really close with uh, the coaches there, uh, Jay Carlson and Smitty. Um, they helped me out a lot, as in maturing as a person, uh, to the person I became now, now today. Um, it's, it really took a lot for me to, to learn to grow as a baseball player. Um, they all, everyone thought I was good, but they, re they really helped me out as in growing, as in learning how to use everything I have. But um, after that, they, they talked to me about Keith Lytle, and once I talked to Keith when I came on my visit here, uh, me and Keith, it was love at first sight. So I mean, that's how I ended up here. All right, thanks very much. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Athlete of the Week, Reggie Wilson. And coming up next on the OCU Athletics Update, we'll visit with track and cross country coach Connor Holt. There's a call to be answered. 
the spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the SU Athletics Update, we're talking to track cross-country coach Connor Holt. The Stars had six All-Americans in the NAIA Indoor Championships earlier in March. And, Coach, tell us about those six All-Americans and what the event was like. You know, um, we're an all-year-round sport. We run cross-country in the fall. We have indoor track and outdoor track. And what I try and tend to focus on, because it's such a grueling year and the fact that these kids are training year-round, is that I don't really like to focus as much on the indoor season. Um, but uh, so, so I always take a back seat to the indoor season. And um, we decided just to kind of, you know, have a little bit more laid back approach uh, for January and February and March. You know, we obviously don't have an indoor track and, and uh, the weather was a little bit rougher this year than it has been in past years. We had a few snow days. I know the kids didn't complain about that, but uh, we brought a small group up to Geneva, Ohio. This is, I think, the third or fourth year that Geneva, Ohio uh, have their indoor national championships. It rotates every few years. And this is the last year that they're running the indoor nationals in Geneva, Ohio. But uh, we brought a small group up there and uh, we, came, we came away with, I think, as expected as we could have. You know, uh, we came very close to winning an individual national title. And, uh, but we had a, a slew of All-Americans on the day. And uh, it was a pretty fun event, to be honest. You know, it's, it's a cold old place, Geneva, Ohio, but they, it's indoors anyway, so the heat is blowing good, and uh, it's uh, it was it was an all right day. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So Peter Koska and Arya Barini finished second and third in the five thousand meters. Yeah. How do you think they ran in the finals? You know, it was it was uh, I I had them picked to, for one of them to win it. To be honest, and it was an unusual turn of events. What happened was that uh, it's a three hundred meter indoor track. So obviously, you know, you're coming around, you're running 300 meters each time. And there was a bit of a mess up with the lap counter. And at one point there was three laps to go. And then when they came around again, they rang the bell. So they missed the second two laps to go. So they ended up only running 4,700 meters. So the two boys were caught off guard a little bit. And it was just a, an interesting turn of events. And uh, they, they ended up getting second and third in the end. There was a bit of mass confusion at the end there with people coming across the line and the, uh, the, the officials telling them, some of them, no, oh, you got to run another lap. And other kids were standing with their hands up in the air. And it would remind you of like Christmas Day or Christmas Eve at one of these malls where people are trying to get Christmas gifts last minute and just mass confusion everywhere. Or, uh, you know, like Thanksgiving Day, uh, the, 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 the shopping uh, Thanksgiving Day, you know, people just going crazy. So, but uh, Asher sure had a bit of excitement to the whole thing. But I, I, was, I, I, was, I, was, I was, they both ran really well and it just came on the unlucky on the, on the draw that they ended up finishing second and third. But uh, they, uh, they had a good run, so yeah. Sarah Moore was the only female to run yeah. in the indoor championship, finished fourth in the 1,000 meter. Yeah. Talk about her running this year. You know, our ladies team is more focused on the outdoor season, but Sarah had been running so well. Uh, she came super close to making All-American in cross country. So she had that mark on her back that she wanted to get an All-American certificate. And uh, about a week coming into the championships, she came down with a bit of a sickness. Uh, it ended up being bronchitis. And it was touch and go there for a while, but she's a tough one. She's from Ireland like myself, and you know, those Irish people are tough old characters. And uh, she ended up, uh, it came really close. There was uh, two or three other girls in, 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 it was the kind of race where on any given day, I think uh, of the four, that the three that were ahead of her and where she finished herself fourth, any one of them could have won it. And uh, it came really close. It just came down to where one girl had a little bit more of a dip than, than Sarah did. And, uh, and uh, she ended up fourth on the day. But first All-American certificate, very proud of her. She's done an excellent job, leadership on the team. And I'm really looking forward to what she can do outdoors. So, yeah. Your men's team finished 13th overall while running only seven runners. What's it going to take to move up in the outdoor season? You know, I think it's just been going to be a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I think we're adding a few more events, obviously. Um, you know, there's 21 events outdoors and outdoor track and field. And we obviously are a distance program. So, you know, we have the marathon. We have Aria being the defending national marathon champion. We have Reno running the marathon too. And then we have a 4x8 relay. 
we have a 3k steeple and it's just going to be a combination of other things we're adding a few more runners uh, dave mumford is back with us we redshirted him indoors he's all american in cross country and uh, we have kyle wadrell he's going to be running uh, a few events for us and uh, you know a lot of the boys will be doubling up so so it just adds the more opportunities for scoring more points um, we got fourth as a team outdoors last year in the championships uh, with eight distance guys. So I feel really good, feel really confident about uh, where we go, you know, as a program, so yeah. You added Matt Aguero as an assistant uh, for this season, a guy with head coaching experience. Talk about what he brings to the team. You know, Matt, Matt, Matt's just a good uh, bouncing board for me, you know, for, recru for recruiting, for doing workouts. Uh, He's, uh, you know, obviously head coach and experience, and uh, so he brings a lot to the program. And, uh, you know, couldn't be more happier. You know, we've signed 24 uh, recruits for next year already, and uh, we're just keep on recruiting, banging on people's doors, telling them about our national championship program we have. And uh, he's, a, he's a CDL too, so he's good for driving the bus when Coach Holt gets tired of doing all that stuff. You know, close the eyes, you know, take it easy. And, uh, but uh, just, just a great recruiter, actually. And uh, he's great to have on the team here, and the kids love him. And, uh, and uh, just a uh, great, great opportunity for everyone involved to keep on plugging along here. And we're getting ready to run a heck of an outdoor track season. It starts on Thursday. We're going down to Texas Relays, and uh, we're ringing a few boys down there. And uh, we're just getting it going here and see where, see where it takes us over the next eight weeks. So. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Stars track cross-country coach Connor Holt. The outdoor season gets underway soon. You can follow their progress on ocusports.com.